Matt Griffin has collected his first professional title with the Fiji Open. Matt, that's a great result. Came about from a unique set of circumstances, didn't it? Yeah, no, it was was very unique. I, I was expecting to go to China, and and then the opportunity arose to go to go to Fiji, and I, I took that, and it was great to play well, and I guess win your first professional event and win a national open. The eleven stroke win was it as easy as what the numbers suggest, or was it a bit of a grind? Uh, it was a real grind. I think the the golf course we played was really tough, and there were there were a number of brutal shots out there. So I I didn't really feel comfortable to the last four or five holes when I had a eight, nine-shot lead, so I enjoyed the last couple of holes, which, which was nice. You've been now a pro uh, for some eight to nine months. Uh, has the transition been as easy as what you thought, or has it been a bit rocky? It's been been very much up and down. I think I, I got off to a great start, and um, and then earlier this year, I, I got my Asian Tour card, and then playing week to week, I sort of struggled a little bit and just, just missed a number of cuts, but starting to feel a bit more confident, and the results are starting to improve. There's three starts in the Asian Tour, uh, you've made one cut, but you've been on the bubble a couple of occasions as well, so it's been close, but just not close enough for you, hasn't it? Yeah, it was It was very close. I, I think I uh, got off to a good start playing well in the first one, and, and I think that's part and parcel of professional golf. If you're not quite on your game, you, you get the weekend off. Tell us a bit also, you've been doing a few Von Nider events over in WA, you took out the Pro-Am at Hartfield, and you also had a tied win at Mandra. Were they able to keep your gains sharp? Yeah, that, that was the main, main idea going over there to, 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 keep, to keep the game going and uh, it was really good to go over there and play so well and um, although they're small events, to winning's a great feeling and it was good, good to get a couple of wins over there. Now the Asia Tour, on the 23rd of July you head back for the Indonesian Masters. Do you go back a different player? Do you go back feeling more confident with your game or is it just business as usual? Yeah, I think I'll definitely go back a bit more, bit more confident and refreshed and uh, looking forward to playing sort of four, four weeks in a row and, and really being able to get in get in and, and hopefully contend on the final couple of days. You've got your eyes focused on Asia for the next few years. I understand also you're going to contest the Japanese tour and try and get a card there as well. I'd like to stay in the, in the region for the next couple of years. I think Japan's a really good stepping stone and uh, I want to really establish myself here and then, then look sort of one, two years down the track to, to heading off to America. The Australian summer, you'll get a start in all the main events. There's an added attraction this year. We've got Tiger coming down to play the Masters. Short to long-term goals for Matt Griffin, what are you aspiring for? Uh, I guess towards the end of the year, I'd, I'd love to, to get a win up in Asia and secure my status. And if I can get my Japanese tour card, that'd be great. And really, it's the Australian tour provides some great opportunities. If you can finish high on the money list, getting into tour schools late late in the US and that, so if I can play well on the Aussie events and who knows, maybe get to play with Tiger late on Sunday at the Masters, it'd be great. You had an outstanding amateur career, you topped it off with the Eisenhower Trophy, what's different towards professional golf as opposed to when you were playing amateur golf? I think I think the biggest thing is just the quality of players, there's, you tee it up in a professional event, there's 156 guys who can who can play, so if you're slightly off, off your game, you, you, you drop down the leaderboard and... Well, Matt, well done with the Fiji Open. It's great to catch up with you and hear how you've been going over the last couple of months. Keep it going. When you head back to Asia, we wish you all the best. Thanks, Andy.